Okay, this is another tip or trick that you can use. Right here I've got a black image that I'm going to put over here onto the spare piece of wood and cut out. Um, but if I'm editing a bigger image and it's the back black on black background doesn't work for me, I can right click and this window comes up and then I left click on it and it takes away the background. So now I can use the color contrast to do my editing. I can count my square, squares to get my size. Uh, different stuff like that. Now when I'm done sizing it or doing whatever I want to do, I right click, put the cursor on show background, and left click. And I'm back to where my other stuff is. There you go. Okay, here's another tip trick. Here's my image. Uh, I do not want this blue background on it to print. Uh, so while it's on here and while it's highlighted, you see this uh, bar across the top shows up. I can click on Edit Image. Click on this little paintbrush. Tolerance is the band of colors that it's going to take away when you click it. And this is pretty. This is pretty graduated. Um, so we're going to bump this up to around 100. We're going to click on the paintbrush, and then we're going to click on the image. It's going to take it a second, but what it's going to do is it's going to go through and it's going to take out all that color. And the square means it's, it's blank. Um, so there's our image. The white's still there, you can just barely see it. Okay, there you go. Here's another tip or trick for you. Here's my image. I want to put that on wood and then I want it to cut out to be that, that shape. Um, with the image highlighted on the bar up here I hit contours and you'll see that line shows up on the outside of my image. I'll make sure that line's um, there and that line is set for cut. And if you look on your layers here, um, the red layer is that shape, and it's um, when you click on it there, it's on cut. The other, the rest, the rest of everything in that image is set uh, for regular processing. And this does not work for every type of of image. You know, SVG, JPEG, Bitmap, I don't know. Just, sometimes it works and sometimes it don't. So, good luck with that. Okay, here's another tip or trick. I've got this off the internet. And I want to um, print it out. Uh, the only problem is, with this yellow back here, it's going to show up. And it's going to clutter my, in, my um, image up a little bit. So if I have the image clicked and I go up here to gray, up here to grayscale, at the 255 now, I can bring it down, pause every once in a while, and you see it turns into white. You want that to whatever color you want. Now if I go to print it, um, I've got black, I've got white, the contrast is there, it's not going to look like a dirty piece of wood. That's the trip. Alright, another tip or trick. Here is an image, and you look and you see it's kind of granulated up in through here. On the great, you take sharpness and bring the sharpness down. And you see it kind of blends away so that you don't have that pattern in there, and it'll print and look a lot better. <laughs> 